Today, I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to split an image into two or four equal parts or however many you really want. So we can have images like these that have one thing on one side and one thing on the other. It's not that hard to do, it's just not super intuitive. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to the crop tool, click on it, and then go over to the slice tool. Once you have the slice tool selected, right click and then do divide slice. And then from here, you can then divide into however many slices you want. So if you wanna go into two parts, horizontally, four parts, whatever you need to do, you'll be able to split your image just like this. For right now, we're just gonna split it into four different parts. And when you do that, it doesn't actually create four separate images. So for example, when we use the paint bucket tool, it does the entire thing. It doesn't just do one side. But because we have these grid lines on here, we can very easily select, for example, just one half of the image. So when you do that, I'll just control X, get rid of that. And now if we want the green on one side and we want red on the other side, we can just do it like that. And just like that, we have green on one side, red on the other. And of course, if we want to create it a little bit different, for example, we've got maybe some type of flag looking thing, uh, we can do it just like this. And we can delete just like there. We can have yellow here and uh, some blue over there. And if you want to save this image, you'll just export it regularly. But if you want to export them as four different images, how you slice it, you go to export save for web, which is legacy, but still works. So what you do is once you have it here, you'll hit save and save it where you need to. And if we take a look at the folder, you'll see that we have an images folder that has each of the four images in their own file. So if you need to save each of these individually, you can do it that way. Subscribe for more Photoshop and Premiere Pro tutorials. Leave a like if you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.